Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes. This is a WBZ News update. Well, it was mace that was sprayed inside a school in Milford that sent several students to the hospital. Hazmat crews responded to Milford Middle School. The whole school had to be evacuated. In all, seven students and staff members were taken to the hospital as a precaution. Officials say it was a student that sprayed that mace. No word yet whether there will be any consequences for that. There are new safety measures in place at UMass Dartmouth after a student was hit and killed on campus. 19-year-old Frankie Patello Jr. died after getting hit by another student walking on Ring Road. Since that tragedy, the school has vowed to make the campus safer for students on foot. So far, it's added new speed bumps and signage along that road. There are also plans to install raised crosswalks and speed tables in the future. And this is a fitting tribute for a Boston icon. Boston's McKinley School was renamed in honor of civil rights activist Mel King. The school is now the Melvin H. King South End Academy. King's wife Joyce was there for the celebration and spoke to that crowd. King died last month at the age of 94. I want to get a check of the forecast now with Eric. Eric, a lot of days are going to be very similar. Yeah, we've been kind of doing the same thing here recently. Tonight we'll have a couple of passing showers, clouds on the increase again, and lows bottoming out in the 40s. One system moving through late tonight, and then it'll still be kicking around tomorrow. So during the day on Thursday, again, kind of a similar script. We'll have partly sunny skies. Some pop-up showers are likely as we head through the midday in the afternoon. We'll tend to dry out as we head toward the evening on Thursday. But another one where you get a little bit of everything. Got to be prepared for some raindrops, some sun, and some clouds. Highs again will be in the 50s, so it's another relatively cool day for this time of the year. On Friday, we're looking at a beautiful day. Brighter skies, warmer temperatures, 60s inland, 50s right along the coast to the light sea breeze. It's the pick of the week to get outdoors. The weekend features more 50s. Rain developing on Saturday afternoon and Sunday, a chance for a few showers as well. There will be some dry patches, though, to get outdoors, just not a particularly warm final weekend of April. Lisa? All right, we'll get out when we can. Eric, thanks, and thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update.